happy Monday morning to ya. Vlogging again. Can you believe it? I'm so happy. So I decided, good morning. <laughs> I'm on a trail in Wheaton. I decided this morning to go on this trail. It's beautiful. It's called the Herrick Lake Trail in Wheaton, Illinois, if you're interested. Because I'm going to go to a Weight Watchers meeting afterwards. So I thought I'd check out this trail and go for a walk first. And yes, you guys, I joined Weight Watchers again because I just, I feel like I really slip up if I don't have some accountability. If I don't have some place to go and weigh in and to meet with people and to share with people, I kind of fall off myself. So I'm doing that. And it's probably just going to be a forever lifetime thing. I'm thinking, I don't have a lot to lose, you guys. I only have about, hey, good morning. I only have about seven, maybe seven, eight pounds to lose. And uh, it's just keeping it off and I want to keep it off. It's gotta stay off. I have struggled so much in my life with weight and I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't want to. So I think Weight Watchers really helps me. So, Having said that, I've been up since 3.30 this morning. I helped Curtis get ready for work this morning, and I figured I would just stay up, so I edited a vlog of our trip last Sabbath on Saturday to the Indiana Dune State Park, so if you haven't seen that, go take a look at it if you want. So I made it home from Whole Foods. I went to Petco and got some dog food for the dog. And these Hi. girls have done such a good job holding down the My fort. They did all the laundry the... for me. Caroline, I'm um, talking to our friends here. Say hi. Hi. Don't talk while I'm talking. Don't talk while I'm talking. Don't talk while I'm talking. Can you wait just a second? We're talking to our friends. Show them what you're eating. A muffin, a vegan blueberry. blueberry muffins from Whole Foods. I decided to treat them since I was out and they, they did so well this morning without mama. So this is, what, this is lunch. Hopefully we're gonna have some fruit to go along with that, mm -hmm. right? Oh, blueberries that I bought over there. And cherries. The cherries, that I cherries. We were gonna, I was thinking about having these, but I don't think we're gonna do that today because we want to have tofurkey sandwiches with um, ripe avocado. And we, we were never eating this tofurkey, but I think once in a while, I mean, it's not, it's not going, it's not going to kill them once in a while. Of course, I don't, you don't eat it. I don't eat them. Anyway. Mama's gonna have split pea soup. This is actually leftover. So, you know, sometimes soup is better leftover. You can split pea soup. Well, of course, it is like 75 degrees today. I was, just think, I was just thinking that split pea soup you don't eat in the summertime. But I do because I love it. And I can do it now because it's, it's 75 degrees out. And I think that's good enough. With my new Instant Pot. I've been really excited about getting this because I've been thinking about it for more than a year about getting this and just haven't really done it until we saw it on sale on Amazon. And I thought, you know what, I gotta, I can't pass it up. So I think I'm gonna do some more recipes with this Instant Pot and show you guys what I'm doing with it. I'm excited about it. And I even got a vegan Instant Pot cookbook. So we're gonna do some recipes from this cookbook pretty soon. See how they like bounce at an angle? Uh, tempting to catch. Oh, he did it. Did you do it? <laughs> catch a blueberry from the, oh, you're, oh, yeah, yeah, three in a row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. oh, missed it. Oh. 
So the girls are at the park on the other side of the street, enjoying some little time together and getting some fresh air. And it's such a beautiful day that I decided to go for another walk. I usually don't do that, but it's, I just can't pass it up. It's such a nice day. It's time for tea, you guys. My favorite time of the day, my favorite time of the video wrap things up on a positive note and actually I'm not gonna have tea tonight I really have gotten a hankering for this stuff I don't know if you've heard of it tea chino it's like cappuccino tea combination roasted herbal tea so it's really like a coffee substitute but this is a hazelnut and it has um, it's made with herbs it's like roasted herbs Carob, organic carob, barley, chicory, dates, almonds, figs, and a natural hazelnut flavor. Hopefully it's vegan. You know, these natural flavors, you gotta be careful with them. But I'm guessing it's vegan. I better check on that. You know what? Sometimes I learn something just by sharing it with you. I better check on that. Anyways, I like it. And I use it, um, it's a tea bag. I took it out already. <laughs> But anyway, it's a tea bag. You put it in here just like a tea, but it tastes more like coffee. But there's no caffeine in it. It's better for you. And I've got a little bit of soy milk in here and just a little bit of stevia. So I'm going to pretend like I'm trying it for the first time, but I've been drinking this. It's delicious, you guys. It's really good. Maybe if you're trying not to drink tea, I mean not to drink coffee, and you want to try something like this, it's a good substitute. You can try something like that. Why don't we end this video on a positive note? I've been thinking about what I can share with you and really thinking about the fact that I have been getting back to paying more attention to my health again. You know, sometimes I forget, sometimes I get busy, sometimes I just don't pay attention, sometimes I'm just plain lazy, but we really need to focus on our health and our bodies. You know, our bodies are a gift. We are a treasure of the Lord and he gave us our bodies to to take the best care of and um, I've been really watching out with exercising being careful what I'm eating and also sleep and many of you know that I struggle in the sleep department but I have been really trying hard to get to bed at a good time to get up at a good time and um, just to just to be well-rounded in everything and getting healthier getting back back to good health. So having said that, let me read you something from the Bible about good health. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. We are bought with a price. That is a wonderful promise. It's beautiful just to, just to really grasp that thought, that idea that we were purchased with the, with the blood of Christ. And we need to glorify our bodies to take the best care of them, you guys. And I am encouraging you to join me as we take the best care of our bodies to learn to prevent disease, to be strong, to be healthy. All right, I'm going to go for now so that I can get to bed. You guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is where you are. Until next time, don't forget to live well and be strong. Adios.